is a WJZ election night update. Hello, everyone. I'm Vic Carter. And I'm Mary Bubala. Tonight, we now know Governor Larry Hogan is declared the winner in our state. The Republican winning his second term. Let's go right to Denise, live at his headquarters in Annapolis. Denise. Vic and Mary, I am here at the Weston Hotel where we are waiting for the crowd to be told something. I am with Kiefer Mitchell, conspicuously of the Democratic Dynasty Mitchell family, but who is now the senior advisor to Governor Hogan. All right, you cross party lines, number one. Number two, we are declaring Hogan the winner. Why aren't you telling this crowd anything? Well, we're still waiting for some numbers to come in. It's still like three or four percent of the precincts reporting. You know, the governor will be down here soon to talk to all of the folks who are here. And uh, he's got a great message to talk about and a great message to talk about the next four years of what he wants to do. Don't you want to get on that stage and tell everybody, hey, it looks like we're winning, folks? You know, that's, uh, that's going to be the governor's job. That's a, he's earned the right uh, to do that. Uh, to come down here after all the work of the campaign. All right, and you cross party lines big time. Yes, uh, this is a governor that has reached across party lines, telling folks that he's going to be bipartisan. He's hired staff that are Democrats on his cabinet and his staff members, and that's the message he's been sending. All right, and it got across to you. All right, we're going to go back to you. I'll let you know something's about to happen. <laughs> 